Hey, this is Brett and this 2023 Jeep Wrangler four-door Rubicon is stock number 14278Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. This 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon comes with these 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine and it's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. This Jeep has been fully safetyed and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process. It has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and this thing is 100% ready to go. And probably the beefiest Jeep Wrangler that we've had in quite some time as far as lift wheels and tires on it. This thing's really good looking. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, underneath, start it up, take a look under the hood, show you all the options, just give you the most accurate representation that I can of the vehicle. Shoot all my videos in 4K. Granite Crystal is the color. If you like the video, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle, and specifically Jeep Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. Uh, this one comes with some really good 52, 1552 wheels. They are painted, obviously, painted aluminum wheels. Got a really good look to them. 1552 is the name on there. And uh, it comes with some really nice BF Goodrich Mud Terrain TA KM3 tires. These are 37 by 12 and a half R17 LTs. And they look like they have probably about 70 to 80 percent of the tread left on them. It does have the AEV RT5100 shocks on here and it is an AEV lift on here. There's a bunch of AEV equipment on this Jeep so if uh, you're not familiar with American Expedition vehicles they're one of the leaders in um, customizing and doing lifts on Jeeps for off-roading and everything. Um, so definitely go look them up at aev.com. Uh, GR fenders on here. Those are metal fenders. They allow for some really good travel on the wheels there and tires. The front bumper is an AEV bumper. Comes with a worn winch on here. And uh, that is a synthetic rope on there as well. It also has an ultra hook um, factor 55. A clip on there so that's pretty cool and this is I don't know if I can see a 10,000 pound winch also has some AEV lights fog lights uh, with the covers there plastic covers sorry about that but uh, we'll turn those on at the end of the video so you can see how bright they are there's a better way to take those off and uh, but yeah very good looking front bumper and this is all metal of course that's plastic but uh, this is metal down here has the led headlamps fog lights running lights on there also going to turn all those on at the end of the video and the hood is in fantastic condition i didn't see any dents or dings on there the grill is in really nice shape too passenger side front fender looks good and the passenger side front wheel no major scuffs or scrapes get a really good look at that suspension lift on there i would say it's probably about a three and a half inch suspension lift on there don't quote me on that but that's kind of what it looks like frame and underbody is in nice shape up here this is a one owner clean title history clean carfax from virginia and as you go down this side of this 2023 jeep wrangler rubicon take note of how clean that body is how reflective and mirror like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you're far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the Jeep, hear the Jeep, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. And if this video helps you do that, let your salesman know that you saw the video, it was helpful and that Brett sent you. Too much stuff to go over on this Jeep. This one has a Rome Adventure I believe that's a canopy on here. It has a JCR roof rack. Get a good idea of how that looks. Maybe see how that works up there. 
Uh, this one does have the black hard top, kind of hard to tell with the roof rack on there. And then it's got this Rotopax um, steel piece here. I guess you can like mount stuff on there if you're camping and stuff. So that's really convenient as well. Uh, you do get the rock rails on all the Rubicons, keeps your frame and underbody looking good. And speaking of frame and underbody, a little dusty, definitely did a little off-roading on this Jeep, but um, that's what you do with vehicles that look like this. This back wheel is in excellent condition as well, minus the stink bug on there. No scuffs or scrapes, back tires all look really good as well, and you get those RT5100 shocks back here too. Get the GR fenders on the back. Coming around to the back, you do get an AEV uh, rear bumper. That is a steel bumper as well. Towing package with the receiver hitch there. Get a matching spare tire and wheel. So there's a brand new tire, so you can see how much tread is on that compared to the tires that are on the vehicle. I'm like. 60%, 60-70% compared to the brand new one. This one also has an auxiliary uh, fuel tank for gas. And that is an AEV product as well. I believe it's 12 gallons, maybe. No, maybe I'll say on here. 10.2 gallons, my bad. So that is an AEV product. It also has the AEV tire carrier on there that's all adjustable and everything. And let's take a look back here. Got to open, make sure that opens up all the way so that that glass can lift up. Get a nice all weather floor mat back here. This one does have the Alpine premium sound system with the subwoofer. Those seats do fold down for extra storage. And uh, you get the hard top, obviously it'd kind of be hard to take the hard top off of this one with that roof rack on there. But if you took the roof rack off, these come off pretty easy. We did a demo on how to take your hard top off your Jeep Wrangler JL. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen as well as linked in the description below. As well as how to take your doors off. Seven pin, or I'm sorry, seven slotted back here and uh, get the JL badge with the two door, two door, four door wheelbase overall length and water fording on there. But you get the seven slots on the back kind of a Throw back to the grill there. And that shuts nice and solidly. You get the LED tail lamps on here as well. And coming down the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side. No major dents or dings on the rear quarter or the doors. And for full disclosure, this back wheel is in pretty nice condition as well. Did see just maybe one little scuff down there and right there. But we could probably touch those up, make it look good. Uh, the door hinges are all very nice on this one as well. I didn't see any corrosion on those. Always got to look at that on these new JL Wranglers. Heated mirrors, power mirrors. Take a quick look at the back seats. Back seats are in fantastic condition. No rips or tears back here. It does have the latch child safety system. Smells very clean inside this Wrangler. I don't think it's ever been smoked in. These seats fold down nice and flat, uh, which is great if you have to haul a bunch of extra stuff which I'm assuming this one probably did in its uh, lifetime in Virginia. All weather topographical floor mat back here. You also get a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two USBs, two USB-Cs uh, back here, as well as your rear window controls. Child safety locks on the back doors. Take a quick look at the front here. The Rubicon package gives you the, the tan leather bucket seats. You get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest. Both of these front seats are heated. Driver's seat height adjuster, all weather format up here. Auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power locks, power mirrors. Hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this Jeep has to offer on the interior. You can see this one has 21,285 miles on that seven inch LCD display. Digital speedometer, compass display, you can change all those corners to read pretty much whatever you want. Instrument cluster is very nice and clean. Comes with the heated leather wrap, steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and you do get audio controls on the back of that steering wheel. This one has the Uconnect 4C radio. 
It does have the factory navigation system and there is Highway 41, so you can see that is working nicely. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You also have your heated seats and heated steering wheel controls, and your backup camera, which you can see is working nicely. They've made these backup cameras HD, so they are crystal clear. This one also has your climate controls on here, including your dual climate controls, and then all your different apps, including off-road pages. It also has projection manager. You can project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. We did a demo on an 844C with Android Auto. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right-hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. Here is Here are your off-road pages. So they take a second to load. Note the gray dash trim. A lot of these Rubicons came with a red dash trim. This one's the gray one, so that looks really good. Then you get your off-road pages here, which gives you your steering angle. Turn that steering wheel, those tires and steering angle changes. Um, with turning the wheel. Latitude, longitude, altitude tells you if your sway bar is connected or disconnected and if your front axle and rear axle if it's locked or unlocked as well as your transfer case you get your accessory gauges and your pitch and roll on there as well. Down here are your more tactile volume tune and climate controls, start stop capabilities, push button start, stability control, speed select crawl control, screen off, power window controls, you get a USB, USB-C, and AUX jack. And then this is really your Rubicon controls right here. You can disconnect the sway bar. You can lock the front axle and the rear axle or just the rear axle. And then you have off-road plus mode where I believe you can go in four-wheel drive low at higher speeds. Eight-speed automatic transmission. Keyless entry with remote start. And you get the flipper key on there, which is really nice. Key fobs in fantastic condition. Once again, smells very clean inside this Jeep. Passenger side floor mat and seat are in fantastic condition. Get your LED lights there. Inside of the hard top looks really good. You get assist and SOS buttons and an auto dimming mirror and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. This one also does not have any chips or anything on the windshield, no cracks or anything, so that is all good to go. Here are the controls for those LED lights in front. In fact, we're gonna start it up and take a look at all the lights as well as those AEV fog lights. So I will point out, and we do, we do have this disclosed, that when you start the vehicle up, it says turn signal out because of the front bumper and the aftermarket uh, lights up front that that notification does come on every time you start the vehicle. So you can see I got those LED lights on up there as well as the headlights. No check engine lights or anything like that. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you've been able to verify the quality, condition, options, and of course cleanliness of this Wrangler all the way around inside. Oh, you can see all those lights are extremely bright, um, especially the AEV lights. It's kind of, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but those things are like blinding me right now. They're so bright. Um, anyways, all working nicely under the hood. We have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. Engine bay is very clean, runs very smooth. And once again, this Jeep has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop as a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. It's 100% ready to go. I'm thinking that that's the cold air intake. I've seen those on brand new ones, so I think that's the cold air intake package as well. There's the emissions sticker. And this Jeep is 100% ready to go. I'm going to do a final walk around here with all the lights on. Really a good looking Jeep. And uh, if you like it, let me know what you think in the comments below. It's definitely, like I said, one of the beefiest Jeeps we've had, Wranglers we've had in a while. And definitely optioned out more options than I've seen in a long time. Get the LED lights on the taillights there. And to see more pictures of this Wrangler, one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, Minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we gotta go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. If you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, 
get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube, as well as staying active and updated on our current inventory that changes daily here at Summit Auto. And if you want to check out the YouTube channel in the upper left-hand part of the screen is a link to subscribe to the YouTube channel and a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this ultra clean, very loaded up 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon four-door in granite crystal metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.